This episode of Too Many Spirits is sponsored by Blumhouse and Universal Pictures Speak No Evil. When an American family is invited to spend the weekend at the idyllic farmhouse of a charming British family they befriended on vacation, what begins as a dream holiday soon warps into a snarled psychological nightmare. Go see Speak No Evil in theaters September 13th. episode of Too Many Spirits brought to you by Speak No Evil. Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. Oh, it's, it's too, too many, many spirits. spirits. Cheers. Cheers. This is a show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky stories. And we're filming this episode tonight live on location at an early screening of the upcoming Blumhouse and Universal Pictures film, Speak No Evil, in theaters September 13th. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, as always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Ricky Wang. Let's see what Ricky's got for us tonight. Ryan and I are on a trip together. Yes, we are. That's. Here. You'll know that because he said it. That's right. And oh, we stumbled across this bar. And who's this bartender over here looking sharp, my man? Hey, welcome, fellow travelers. Welcome to <laughs> Mallorca's Beach Club. Oh, cool. We're in Mallorca. Is that where we are? We're in Mallorca, the one and only. Oh. I am here to tantalize y'all's palates. I'm tantalized already. Why is it so dark? All right. You guys ready for your first? An only drink? And oh, only drink. Oh, an only. That's a nice This change. might be your last. It could be a potent potion, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, he's really gonna go for it on yeah. this one. This drink, my friends, is called the Wanderlust Spritz. Wanderlust? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All my fellow Wanderlusters. It's gonna be beautifully refreshing. So you're starting with, uh, that looks like ice. Yeah. Yes, okay. I am scooping in some ice yeah. and some classic American red solo cups. Love a red solo cup. Yeah. Red solo. Does you that know. bring back memories or lack thereof? I'm <laughs> <laughs> blurry ones. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're gonna pluck a few mint leaves in buck, because buck, buck. nothing says European countryside like a nice spritz with a little mint. Sure. Mm. After some mint leaves, we're gonna put in a few lime wheels in just for a little- Lime wheels? Essence. As they say, not all who wander are lost. Yeah. So therefore, we're adding 1.5 ounce of an elderflower liqueur. Oh! Beautifully inspired by the European countryside, the Mallorca Beach Club, wherever you feel Wherever too. we are. That's right. Wherever we are. Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, that was like a sound, that sounded fake. That was really nice. We're gonna add just a little bit of pear vodka, a little extra of that French countryside, yeah. je ne sais quoi. What the French call a certain I don't know what. We're gonna add a splash of soda. Nice. Before we top off with our main ingredient. What, what? Some Prosecco. Ooh. Wait a second, now we're adding champagne essentially to vodka? To vodka and Oh mint boy, this sounds lime. like I'm gonna be traveling to the, the peak of Mount Ouchiwawa tomorrow. I'm gonna have a huge hangover. And that's why, one and done, my friends. Yeah. Just one, just one. <laughs> Did you know that a champagne cage twists six times? Is that so? Yes. Let's see. Let's see it. All right. Hold it up for us. So there we, we go, there's, the, sh there's the, the nozzle. One, one two, two, three, four, five, Six. Six. Whoa! I hope for your sake that comes off. Oh, you did yeah. it. You nailed it, yeah. Let's pop that cork. Oh. Opa! Yeah. Nice. We're gonna garnish with our green flag green straws. Flag. Yep. Green White flag. green flags? Because when you're traveling, you know, all these red flag stories with your travel partners. Yeah. I figured this drink is the opposite of that. Yeah. This drink is a green flag. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're having a spritz, in the European countryside, green flag. I gotta say, that makes me trust you less. <laughs> yeah, for you saying, here, here's a drink. Look, there's a green flag in it. I'm Everything a nice guy. <laughs> I'm the red flag. <laughs> you are the red flag. <laughs> As a person. Well, I'm excited. This looks delicious, and I, I know there's nothing nefarious about these. Uh, thank you, Ricky. These look wonderful. Thank you. Bon appetit. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, a, that's right, that's right. Hold on, let me actually get a shot of us on the spirit cam so I can get all of us on. Hold on, I'm gonna put the mic down. We've been doing the spirit cam since season one and all the comments are always like, please stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> what are you feeling? Oh, rating wise? 
Well, here's the thing, Ricky's a professional. He is a professional. No disrespect to Stephen Lim, who sometimes when he's behind the bar... It's a catastrophe. He, <laughs> yeah. he does things that shouldn't be allowed, you know? Uh, so this is a solid nine for me. You know what, I'm gonna have to go with a 10. Oh, oh look at the ghosts! We got real ghosts, we got live ghosts! Oh, whoa! First time you ever seen one in person. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to be reading your travel horror stories, keeping in theme with Speak No Evil. Uh, you That's know, right. an idyllic trip gone awry. And we are actually are going to have a unique rating scale. So when you go on vacation, there are certain things that you're like, hey, maybe that's a bit of a red flag. Or maybe it's like, this is a green flag. When we uh, read a story, we're gonna ask you guys, do you think that's a red flag or a green flag? And then we'll have that, and then of course we'll do our typical. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it feels like I'm about to do shoot... that for every story. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like I'm about to shoot free throws at a basketball game. <laughs> uh, we're, we'll, you guys will do that, and then we'll do our typical one out of ten. I still have alcohol dribbling down my neck, <laughs> like I just bit into a juicy peach. Ugh. Sorry about that. First story. This comes from. B. Brittany underscore Warren with two N's on Instagram. Uh oh, incoming burp, sorry. Ryan. <laughs> it's bubbles. Cleared it. That's the echo of Gettysburg. No one even noticed. What voice should I do here? I don't know, man. Okay, <laughs> good suggestion. You must be real fun at improv shows. <laughs> what about a robot? What? I didn't, you asked me for an idea, okay. I gave you one. Okay, we'll do that for a sentence and then it will get exhausting and then I'll just read it normal. How okay, great. When I was... <laughs> when I was little, my family took a trip to Gettysburg. Okay, we're off to a good start. You can go to normal now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. When I was little, my family took a trip to Gettysburg. Ooh, yeah. We did all the main attractions like the battlefields and the orphanage. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. That's a main that attraction at Gettysburg? There. I thought that was famous for, you know, a war. <laughs> Back to the story! Yeah. During the tour of the orphanage, my mom and I were the only ones to hear piano music quietly drifting through the rooms of the dark basement as we sat listening to the tour guide. Is that, a, I, that feels like a green flag to me. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say green flag so Pian far for now. The piano's quite lovely. One of the great instruments. <laughs> <laughs> just like a room full of locusts, just slowly flying towards me. Later, we did ask if anyone's phone had gone off, but nothing. The next night, as we were leaving the tour of the cemetery, my aunt grabs me by the arm oh. and tells me to move out of the way. Our aunt, I, a lot of aunts are like this. I have an aunt who's very like, yeah. don't make the ghosts angry, all that, you know, and she's always telling me about spirits. Your, your aunt says don't make the ghosts angry? Yeah, so, you know, it's an extended family. I see, <laughs> that makes sense. Trust me, my, my, you know, brother and parents are just as insufferable as I am, but. I would pay for the entire Madej family to go on a ghost tour just to watch that poor gentleman who's leading the tour's life leave his eyes. <laughs> just, after funny. every story, yeah, sure. You gotta. <laughs> My aunt grabs me by the arm and tells me to move out of the way since she could hear a horse and buggy, specifically the sound of horse hooves behind us. Oh, she's a horse aunt, not a ghost aunt. <laughs> no, I think she's referring to like a spiritual horse that's coming from like oh. the days of, of, of yester. But then why would she move you out of the way? Cause that's just gonna go right through you. Well, we don't know that. Ghosts could push people, so why wouldn't they be able to squish you? That's right. I just logic to your ass. He got me. <laughs> Specifically the sound of horse hooves behind us. And with Gettysburg being in Amish country, this came as no surprise. But when we turned around- She thought it was a real horse. I got you. Fair enough, that's fair, that's fair. Turned around to look for the horses. There was nothing but an empty cobblestone road. Scared. Not quite a vacation gone wrong, but a spooky one nonetheless. <laughs> That's the end of the story. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, uh, let's get our flags ready. Oh Don't yeah, wait. It. That's a green flag for me. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty great. Cause that's just There's like nothing happening. That's there. a little local color. That's ghost right. horse clip clopping around. Yeah. No immediate danger. Your aunt got scared. That that's happens everywhere. Fun. That happens at Target, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> what did you rate? What do you rate that story out of ten? I give that one. Uh, it's clean, concise. Uh, I was with them the whole time. Yeah. It's a seven for me. A seven. That's a solid seven. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I love this scene. I give that a six. I'm gonna give that a six. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> story number two. This is from Watcher fan Inez Santos. What voice do you want me to do, Ryan? Can you do your best James McAvoy impression? Well, I don't know what he sounds. I mean, I mean, I've I've seen the film, but when he's doing, he's just sort of a gruff, you know. Okay, I'll try. I'm from Portugal. <laughs> James McAvoy, famously Portuguese. <laughs> and my family usually travels to Algarve in the summer. I wish I had read this beforehand so I knew if I was pronouncing that correctly. James McAvoy sounds like constipated Shane Madej. On this specific afternoon, we decided to go to the beach. <laughs> green flag. Go to the beach? Yeah, green flag to that. Now Everybody I, loves the beach. Yeah, how is this gonna go wrong? Where the, what the heck happened to my flag? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Next to the drink, That's, I wonder if they're related. No, they're in your seat. Oh, you stole shit. my flag. <laughs> Red flag for you stealing my green flag. This is beautiful. This is this is my favorite thing we've ever done. I'm so happy you're all here with us tonight. Uh, it was all going pretty much normally with my sibling and I messing around taunting Poseidon, as one does. What? When we find this rock that eerily looks like a dog's skull. Oh. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Don't want to find a, a dog's skull. Unless you like collect those and then green flag. No, I think that's a red right? flag to what you just said. <laughs> we decide to have some more fun and ask Poseidon to send us the rest of the dog's skeleton. And now I'm seeing some Inez. mixed flags out here. We're seeing mostly red. I'm gonna go, I wish I had two red flags. Cause that, uh... I kid you not, a few minutes later, I see this thing floating on the shore and point at it. Uh oh. My sibling picks it up and it's a bone. <laughs> we immediately posted on Reddit. Okay. <laughs> now, here we go. This has multiple turns in every sentence. And find out it is very likely a human humerus. Oh, wow, the scientific name for the bone. What is a humerus? Where think, is that? I believe that's the leg, isn't is it? Is that a leg? Am I right? Is that the leg? We got any doctors got any, in the house? We got any bone uh, Okay, she bone said, doctors? <laughs> this person right here said, yes, it is a leg, and then when I asked if they were a doctor, they said no. <laughs> so, I don't know what to make of that. We took it with us on the trip back to our camping site. Okay, what is happening? <laughs> and eventually, my sibling gave it to the police. Okay, all right, all right hold on. At no bones, huh? <laughs> At first, they didn't seem to believe us, but as soon as they saw what the bone looked like, they got concerned. <laughs> Unfortunately, we never heard from them again. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's you know, a, I am gonna go red. That's a red flag for the bones. The bones. For finding a human bone. Yeah. No. This would be a really good uh, serial killer tactic to just like bring the bones <laughs> to the, the police station and be like, I found this on the found beach. Found these bones. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know how they ended up in my backyard. Just at the beach. I was at the beach and I, I found some bones. Because it seems like these police officers found an are like, entire for human in. skeleton. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is this human? And the police officer was like, thanks for bringing these bones in. <laughs> What are we feeling on that score? That's, that's a, a ten. ten. And, and that's, that's too, too many, many spirits. spirits! Oh! Yeah! Now this actually comes from somebody in the audience. So if I say your name, can you please stand up? Can we please have Naomi Marin or Marin stand up? Woo! Hey! Yeah. Thank you, Naomi. You may be seated. I hope we're not, uh, we're gonna give you a great review here. <laughs> Well, okay. we, we, we will be fair and honest. Jesus, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my because God. we respect you. When I was 13. I, I should do a different voice for this one. Um, can you say the lazy uh, dog jumped over the quick brown fox so Ryan has like a baseline for your voice? You want me to do an impression of her? <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't that be? Maybe just say when I was 13. When I was 13. There you go, you got it. You got everything you need. When I was 13. <laughs> 
my family and I took a road trip in the Philippines. That, that is. And we is, stopped at this non planned hotel that gave super haunted vibes. I don't know why I'm doing that intonation. You just feel like you would do that intonation. She's shaking her head and she just <laughs> said no. She hated that performance. No. Why don't you, know, you switch it up? I'm gonna switch it up. When I was 13, my family and I took a road trip in the Philippines. And we stopped at this non planned hotel that gave super haunted vibes. When we got to our room, there were spiders crawling out of the drains. Ugh! And instead of full size beds for our family of four, there were six twin beds lined up like it was six? military barracks. <laughs> six? I think that's a red flag. I don't like the thought of six beds in a room. That sort of feels like a liminal space. <laughs> Uh, the floors and walls were all worn concrete, and the aircon was blasting, so it was freezing. <laughs> this is scary. We were severely creeped out, so we shoved two of the beds together, and all four of us slept, with me and my little brother in the middle, and my parents on the other side of us. That's sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. That's very sweet. I woke up in the middle of the night to my parents furiously Whispering. <laughs> Whispering. <laughs> Whispering, and I was concerned Naomi there for a second. I was like, maybe you shouldn't have shoved those beds together. <laughs> Furiously whispering is what they were doing in Ibanuk, which is one of the dialects my family speaks, and it roughly translated to, do you see it too? <gasps> <laughs> and then the other person says, yes, what should we do? Don't look, just go to sleep. What? That, in terms of top three sentences you could say to make me more scared, <laughs> that's gotta be up there. Don't look, just go to sleep. That sounds like a creepy pasta. I was half asleep, so when I woke up, I thought it was just a dream spurred on by the creepiness of the hotel. But over breakfast, my parents were talking with my aunt and uncle who had their own room with six beds. Nice. They were discussing how they slept, but as I was chowing down, <laughs> I heard more. Yeah, green, yeah. <laughs> green flag to that. Hey, let's see. I love Brecky. I heard more of their conversation, and my stepmom said I couldn't sleep at all, thinking about how she was just watching us. Apparently, there had been a bleeding woman holding a baby bundle in the corner the whole night. What? But, I literally what got are chills. You talking That's about? Crazy. What are you talking about? But my dad was like, if we don't look at her, she won't bother us. <laughs> That's classic dad stuff. That's classic dad yeah. stuff. It's like, it's going to be too much trouble, and then I got to go down to the lobby <laughs> and ask them, hey, do you know anything about the Just lady with sleep. the bloody baby? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> we drove away to our next destination, but I'll never forget that hotel. Well, yeah, that neither would I. Story. That's got to be a, a red That's flag. That's a big old red flag right there. Also, just imagine the scene of like, you're scared, right? And I'm like, don't look at her. <laughs> Furiously whispering, right? Go to sleep, go to sleep. If you don't look at her, Close she your won't eyes. Die. Ignore the knife. Ignore it. It doesn't help. What do you think of that story? I mean, it's it's one of the few genuinely scary scary stories that we've heard. That, I got chills. I'm gonna have it's, to give that. It's it's a ten. That's a ten. It's a ten. And that's, and that's too okay. many spirits. Too many Thank you, Naomi, for sending that. Really incredible. Really and, and we get a round of applause for Naomi. Pints and peril. This is submitted by Lizzie Lockard. <laughs> Watch her staff. On a girl's trip in Prague, two of my girlfriends and I were at a brewery when some brawny dude started hitting on us. We were about to leave, but he bought us a round, so we decided to stay for one more. He was nice. <laughs> <laughs> And as we got to the end of our beers, he bought us two more rounds. Oh, Lizzie. Now we're getting to the red. That's too oh, many Oh no, spirits. we're getting some, there's a lot of green <laughs> flags out there. <laughs> Not wanting to be rude, we agreed to stay a bit longer as the brewery was emptying out. Once we were done and drunk, he asked us if we'd like to see where the beer is made in the basement. Oh. And I'm seeing less green flags out there now. <laughs> We laughed it off, but he insisted. We all shared a look, unsure if that was the best idea, but wanting to be polite, we agreed. 
Oh boy. Lizzie. I don't even need to get a Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie. Lizzie. He led us behind a heavy door and we started making out. Oh, no, sorry. Wait, did that, did she write that? No, I missed, it says, started making our way. I was like, what kind of like Tumblr fanfic is this? About herself. And we started making our way down two flights of an old spiral staircase. We found ourselves in the brew house. He showed us a couple of the instruments, then led us to a room with <laughs> with two massive vats inside. <laughs> Gr grinning over at us, he said, I bet all three of you could fit in one of these. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? The sole green flag. That's right. He's what? just having a good time now. Wanna come look inside? We crept a bit closer to peer in. Dude's hand chopped through the air so fast I hardly saw it as he grabbed my shoulder, ready to push me in. And then he laughed. We almost shat our pants. He quickly finished the tour and took us back upstairs. Turns out he was the brewmaster of the brewery and just very proud of his beer. And not a psycho killer, or so we think. Oh, and now, well, now, wow! You guys really turned a corner on this guy. That's a green flag. Dudes will hear that story and say, nice. <laughs> I like that he's just like, yes, try my beer. What I guess it? if I brewed my beer in two giant vats, yeah. and she said they were massive, then I would be proud of it too. Yeah, you make vat jokes. Also, he probably does this every night. Makes someone think he's gonna kill him. Then he's like, <laughs> fun bit. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Fun bit. Yeah. What, what do I mean? This is crazy. It's like, another. I feel like that's gonna has be, to a, be a. It's gonna be a 10. And that's gotta be a 10. And, and that's, that's another a, too, too many spirits. Let's see wow, on a that, journey. That, that was great. Oh my gosh. Well, I, get, I think that's our last story. So I hope you guys enjoyed the screening. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. And for those of you at home, go see Speak No Evil. September 13th. Yeah. Oh, and flourish. And a flourish at the end. And that uh, has oh. been Too Many Spirits! Los Angeles, thank you thank so you much for so coming out. Enjoy the film. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Please, we need to get out of here now. Please, what are you doing? Everything okay in there? Yeah, we're all good. Anything we can get you? No, 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 we'll just be a minute. We can't let on, yeah? We can't look stressed or scared. We just have to go out there and be completely normal. This is my husband, Ben. I'm Patrick Felt. This is my wife, Kira. <laughs> you have to come and visit us. The West Country, really, it's beautiful. Yeah, that'd be great. It's so quiet around here. Have any neighbors? Agnes, love, you have to eat your vegetables. And if we don't chew with our mouths open. Please, could you stop telling my daughter what to do? You don't criticize other people's children, you should say sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, Louise. Louise, is there anything you'd like to say? Cold water therapy, proven to boost the immune system. And we didn't bring our swimsuits. Oh, that's all right, you can keep your knickers on. You shouldn't be shy, Louise. Got a great body. Oh, thank you. I admire you. Louise is a great woman. I've always wanted a family like yours. Mom, something's not right with him. No! What is wrong with you? I want to back up the car, and I want to leave now. Oh, no. That is really bad luck. I know we can both be... A bit much. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to kill us. What? Ah! He went dead. Mom? Not here. You're either predator. You're prey. I need you to be brave. 
You guys have been just a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh, well, that is very sweet of you to say.